Hi everyone, it's Dr. Danielle Cooper, Dallas Plastic Surgeon. I wanted to go over five things that you should consider before having plastic surgery. So number one is your motivation for wanting plastic surgery. It's very important to make sure that you're doing plastic surgery for the right reasons. And one, the, the, that reason should be is that you're doing it for yourself. Uh, something that you want personally just for you with no other factors involved. So you don't want to have plastic surgery if you're doing it because you're trying to keep your significant other or because um, you're trying to be on top of the latest fad that's been going on and so you want to try to replicate that. You want to make sure that you're doing this because it's something that you want personally and has no factors to do with anybody else around you. And that's because, and that kind of goes into number two, plastic surgery is still surgery. So despite what many people think, oh, it's just liposuction, it's no big deal. It's still surgery. You're still undergoing anesthesia. The body is still being traumatized by surgery um, and still has to recover from that. And complications can happen. Um, you know, it can be something small to just some wound healing issues to something uh, big, you know, worst case scenario, death. Uh, we have heard of people dying with plastic surgery. So it's not a decision to take lightly. Um, so you should definitely go into it really thinking about all those factors before you decide to move forward with it. The third thing to think about is the time needed for recovery. So everyone sees the before and after pictures and thinks, oh, if I go and have plastic surgery the next day, I can be in my bikini and I'm going to be nice and thin and looking great. Well, that's not how it works out. Usually when you're looking at before and after pictures, it's usually three or six months or even longer after they've had surgery and had time to recover. So initially after surgery, your body's gonna swell. It's trying to heal from all the trauma that it had, that had uh, just taken place with the surgery. It is a trauma to the body. So during that healing process, you're going to swell. Um, things are gonna shift uh, as uh, you become more active as well. So even when the swelling goes down initially, if you start becoming more active, you might swell up again. So that process can happen and, and wax and wane over the course of several months. So just keep in mind that during that recovery period, you wanna make sure that you have things in place as far as time off from work, and you discuss with your surgeon um, as far as how long off of work you would need to be, depending on the type of procedure that you're having, but also making sure that you have a good support system at home. So it's very important to make sure that you have people around you that can help you after surgery, as far as getting around and getting things and helping you get through your day to day, particularly in that first week after surgery. So it's very important to, to have a good network of people that can help you during that recovery period as well. The fourth thing is research your surgeon. So cheaper is not better. Um, there, we've heard of the horror stories that happen when people go and try to seek, you know, basement type procedures, or they go out of the country to have cheaper plastic surgery, and then they come back with all these horrible complications. But even within the United States itself, you still want to make sure that you're doing your research on your surgeon because not every cosmetic surgeon is a plastic surgeon. So that's something that you really want to look into and see what is the background training of the individual that's going to be doing your cosmetic procedure. Um, because a plastic surgeon is different than a board certified cosmetic surgeon. That's somebody who could be a primary doctor or could be an uh, obstetrician who then took some course to become a board certified cosmetic surgeon. Um, and then they're performing these cosmetic procedures on you. They, they do not have the same type of training as a plastic surgery trained individual. So you definitely wanna make sure you're doing your research prior to um, moving forward with surgery. The last thing, which is probably the most important, is to love yourself. So yes, plastic surgery is a good way to address things that you might be insecure about, um, but at the end of the day, if you don't find a way to love yourself, you're going to keep seeking more and more plastic surgery or more and more other um, ways to change the way you look. And we've all seen those people that have gone too far with their plastic surgery. And honestly, it goes two ways. The surgeon should tell the person, you know, enough is enough, but also the, the patient has to understand when enough is enough as well. So if you find a way to love yourself, you can um, combat some of those temptations to say, okay, you know, I addressed my insecurity that bothered me the most. Um, you know, I realized that I'm not gonna be perfect. And even with 
any remaining insecurities that I have or any remaining imperfections, I'm happy with where I am and I can move forward with my life and I know when to say, okay, enough is enough, no more plastic surgery. So I think those are the five things to consider when considering plastic surgery. But if there's anything else that you think should be on that list, please leave it in the comments below.